guys, this is the Rad Man, and if you can't tell, I am in Farming Simulator 2013, and you're probably thinking, but the last thing you uploaded was a Minecraft video, feed, Minecraft Feed the Beast video saying, you're back, and that you have no idea when the mod pack is going to be released, right? Well, yes. Well, I hope I just didn't mix up episodes, or that's going to be a major spoiler. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm playing uh, Farming Simulator. Been about a week since I recorded episode one, and uh, not really. Mo no one has really commented yet. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to harvest this entire field using this method and then I will uh, do a time lapse of how it goes what happens basically it'll be a massive time lapse um, uh, I don't know if I want to try and add narration to this one though because I'm also going to uh, so I haven't edited uh, episode um, one of I think it's episode eight or nine that has the massive time lapse where I build the mob farm. I haven't edited that one yet, so I still need to put my voice in for that one. And I'm not sure whether I want to do that now or try and wait till after I record this episode. But anyway, yeah. Actually, thinking about it, I'll probably just skip most the harvest and. Uh, probably do one or two replants too just so that um it isn't just using this teeny tiny little combine that takes four episodes to harvest one field anyway but i will tell you how we are going to upgrade because that is something else that can take up a little time um well the next oh i did it again i uh, i found out that like I think two videos ago when I recorded about the same time I did, I went like every two minutes and I feel really really bad because that sounded really really awful in the microphone just sounded kinda stupid when played back but uh, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get some of these level machines and then we're gonna try and hop to some of these that the titanium add-on adds like these uh, for our planters and for our grain cart uh, we're gonna have a semi and one of these because we'll need this one for silage the semi well it's for grain and then we will need one mod eventually uh, it's going to be come on no it's going to be this guy right here we're gonna need to own one of these for the um for the tractor for the case and we're gonna need to own one of these for the um uh just lost my words it's going to be to haul um oh yeah it's gonna be for the semi i don't know how i forgot that word and then we're going to own probably this variation of this grain cart because if you'll notice oh wait I need to check this it's pro no it's not uh, I'll just unload it really quickly because I don't want it to fill up and sit there again because like I said I'm trying to kill time because I'm not sure what you guys want me to do so I don't want to do the wrong thing in when we're only in episode 2 so yeah let's see we'll just really quickly get this guy unloaded then we'll go back to the store for a minute. <clears throat> and sorry if I sound uh, kind of awful. Um, my family's been sick, and I'm afraid I might actually be starting to get it. Um, I'm hoping that I'm just tired and that I'm not sick. It's just I'm not sure at this point because when I get sick, I either get really, really sick or I usually feel sick but I'm not that sick so I'm just hoping it's where I feel sick but I'm not really sick because usually when I get really really sick 
I end up missing school and can't talk for at least a day. And, uh, yeah. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Okay, we're going to park this guy out of the way this time, though. Like up here. And then we will continue looking at the store. Do, do, do. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to need two of these, which will be kind of a big investment. And we're also going to need one of these because if you'll see, it holds. Um, where is it written? Capacity. 38,700 liters, which is what. It's in the it's in actual game and I believe it's stored under misc. So this one as you can see holds thirty four thousand while oh I hate going through the tabs. While thirty four thousand as compared to thirty eight thousand. So I've had like a lot of issues with one of my combines. I have to make an extra trip every time because um, I've upgraded to um, oh my gosh so many tabs uh, no no okay so yeah we're also gonna try and own one of these guys not with tracks though because tracks annoy me either one of these I think will work there's only a slight capacity difference and whichever one we own I believe we should get two or three empties into one of those trailers as compared to not so much two or three empties. And I will be using a modded uh, digger just because um, there is a legit planter in this game and I'll even show you so you don't start yelling at me that there's no way there's that big of a planter. There's this planter that isn't, that's the wrong one, 15 meters. and. Unfortunately, the biggest harvesting header in the game, besides like one of these, which is only 10.5, is this one, the 13.7. So we are going to skip this one and buy this one. And we'll probably buy this one too, since we need a corn head. And I haven't decided if we're going to do this one or this one. Uh, I'll have to check in my other world, see which one I used, but I think it's this one. Yeah, I, I'll just say we're going to buy this one because the difference is only like a tiny bit of money. Nope, or long one. Well, it is, it's like $100,000, but I don't think we're... By the time we have enough money to upgrade every piece of equipment, um, it'll have taken a little bit. And uh, to go from this, which is 5,700, to an overloader, and then that semi, we're going to have to buy one of these in between. I think it will probably be this, either this guy. Well, it'll be this guy, because he has the biggest next compared to this. No. This guy actually has a pretty big volume. Um, gotta check the combine. Oh, it's almost done. So yeah, I, I, what I really need to do is just sit down and take like 20 minutes when I'm not harvesting while the crops are growing and check uh, all the prices and stuff. And uh, if you'll notice, I'm probably going to have to stop that cultivator because it is going at a faster rate than the planter and it'll probably catch up to the combine at this point. Now there are some of you who are probably saying... Well, I've played Farming Simulator, why don't you just sell enough stuff to buy a baler? And here's the reason. I've discovered that balers are just a pain in the butt that slows you down by about a half hour every harvest. And in a Let's Play series, uh, where I'm trying to fill time, I don't think I really want a half hour of baling. Because, um, usually when I'm driving the vehicles, I have to concentrate a little more. As compared to like what I've just um, in the store looking at stuff, and that might be a little bit of an over exaggeration. Like I'm if I if I'm really interested in something in the store, I'll probably zone out a little more than I would if I was just driving. But yeah, if that made any sense, good that you understood it. If it didn't, 
Uh, trust me, it is like 5.30 in the morning. I don't know why I'm even recording at this time, but I decided to. Plus, it's really the only time of day I feel like Farming Simulator that, and I even have time anymore. Plus, my video editor's running, so Mindcrack will not run for worth a crap. And there are the reasons. Anyway, let's see. So there we have him going. We'll just hop into the combine and continue looking. I did notice that there might actually be one starter mod that I accidentally downloaded that might be good. It's in the tippers, and that's not the tippers. It's these guys. Okay, so this is 45,000. Uh, this Oh. 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 Um, apparently these trailers are only for silage, so they're useless. Because this trailer can also hold silage, so it's like three types of trailers in one. So we will definitely be trying to buy one of those, and uh, we won't go directly to this just because I don't think that I will have a, a tractor powerful enough for it. But eventually we will upgrade to a better combine and all that stuff. It will just take an extremely long time, so I'm probably going to skip the rest of this because... I honestly don't have the patience, um, when I'm recording it lags the game out slightly, just enough to where I can notice a big difference in time over like the a harvest, but not really when I start it. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to finish up this harvest, um, it, this won't be in this episode though because it's going to take a while, and then um, I'm going to probably do one or two more harvests harvests I can't speak today and I will probably even uh, try and find a great demand and then I'll do all my purchases with you and I'll update you like how many times I've harvested just because um, until we get a bigger combine each harvest is going to take an insane amount of time and the other thing I forgot to tell you that I want to upgrade is not in the mods it is, I want to upgrade to a better planter soon, because this sucker will save me a lot of money. Why? Because it can till and sow. No other planter can do that. And unfortunately, this is the only potato plant. Oh. I think I bought one of these. No. Yeah, I, I was getting mad because the potato planters are still small, even though they made a big corn planter. Giants! If you're working on Farming Simulator 2013, this is the next thing. A big potato planter. Yeah. That's a, that's the next big idea, guys. Anyway, so what I want is I want one of these three-point seed drills. Because, um, let's just say this. I would not, I would really, 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 really love it if I would only have to have one tractor that's offset a tiny bit from the combine because as you can see here there's probably five or ten minutes in this gap in between vehicles and it's growing because the combine has stopped and we took too long in this store anyway okay that's handled uh yeah what was i talking about i don't know i was talking about something it was probably important oh yeah Okay, yeah, I want that seed drill just because it's going to make harvesting a lot easier because um, it'll also only use two, two workers, one for the combine and one for the drill, which will probably cut at least a thousand dollars out of every two or th every three thousand I spend on workers, it'll cut a thousand out of. Because if they all take an equal amount, which I'm not sure, so don't quote me on. Um, if they all take an equal amount, it'll just use less of them. Which means that that extra thousand can be used towards uh, other stuff. Now that not might not seem like a lot, but think about this. When you, uh, when you upgrade, like, I upgraded my combine before my cedar. It was the biggest pain in the butt I ever did. I will probably be trying to upgrade um, the combine. You know what? 
I'm just gonna check how m I will probably add this up w over uh, while uh, oh, in between the episodes, but I'd like to find out <sighs> should I buy this one and then and its header and then upgrade from that into this, or should I just go straight from derp derpiness into awesomeness? So I'll uh, I'll let you guys decide that one, and if you don't comment, I'll make the decision myself. But where this is 315 and this is 329,000, if I have enough money for the biggest combine in the game, why not earn a little more and then just buy the hugest combine in the game? Uh, by the way, everything down from uh, here. Is titanium add-on so you will need the titanium add-on if you plan on using these I'm sure there are hundreds of mods of them though so yeah anyway I think that that would be the end of the episode because um, I'm pretty sure we've been harvesting for quite a while I'll, I'll just say it's the end of the episode I really don't care at this point because um, I need to still harvest all this Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you had a pretty good time. I hope you didn't get too bored. And uh, tune in for next episode, and we'll probably be spending a little cash on some new machinery, hopefully a new combine, because this is ridiculous. And the other, the other thing I want to say about that cedar, guys, is it can actually keep up with uh, most levels of combine up until you get in the $300,000 price range, I believe. I haven't actually tested it that much with the bigger combines because I usually skip those first tier ones, but we're going to see because this is getting really, 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 really ridiculous. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.